What's up guys? We're back again with another video. Now if you're wondering why I haven't posted videos like in the past few days or maybe even like a week, well it's because one, with work, like I had to submit a lot of reports and just like last night when the MVTs are dropped, I was still working on the reports which was supposed to be presented today but it was cancelled so you know it, it is what it is uh that's that's life but at least i'm done right and second uh just some personal matters there's some changes in our household i also like did had to clean like the entire house like when i say entire house like it's literally entire house and also like my brother left uh the country for his master's abroad last monday so i had to leave work again and i was out the whole day so yeah that's it if, if my brother's watching this like you know good luck with your uh, masters abroad uh you know let's let's get it one thing but anyway uh enough of that um i'm here you know i'm back uh because i didn't want to do like videos i didn't want to upload videos when i'm not like in the perfect mental and physical state just because you know I'm not again. I'm not uploading this just for the views, right? Even though like this shit dropped last night, I was just so tired. I didn't have the energy to do it, so no, I had to skip this one. But no, finally, I have. I think my my time right now is more relaxed compared to the previous day. So you know, we're back with all the reaction videos. I'll try to catch up on on things, but you know, uh, for today, we will we'll have the Blackpink shutdown MV teaser. I will also be talking about my thoughts on the track list uh, so that will be after this but for now let's just focus on this shutdown mv teaser we're two days away from the comeback so you know let's go let us go mm -hmm. it's some violent sound right Shut it down. Keep watching me shut it down. Something of the bat. Something I've noticed. I, I I think I've seen like the title tracks from their previous. I mean, not just title tracks, like their songs, right? From here. But that's an interesting sound. This violin. It it reminds me of like when, when Titanic was about to sink. Right, well, when the orchestra was playing while the people were like going insane, or like there, there's a chaos in, inside the boat. But okay, okay, we'll see the. We'll rewatch this again and again. You see, we have do do do. We have how you like that, pretty savage. Okay. Down. Rose's voice again, right? Similar to the pink venom teaser, you stop, stop bashing me, guys. Um, Yo, but this is giving me Call of Duty PUBG outfit here. Like, it's an Arctic outfit for Lisa. And. Yo, she looks so badass in this. in the scenery right here, right? But. I think they have, like, some candy eye candy i'm mean, not eye candy like some references from the previous songs right they have some reference here so just pause a lot here black pink area okay that that's our zone in your area okay we have bp black pink pawn shop black what is this pawn broker we buy anything of value instant cash loans computer world no smoking on stage at any time including additions and okay okay Maybe like I I don't know if like this too a uh, far reach, but no smoking. Like maybe this like more on their the behavior of the girls, their attitude or something, and then pawn instant cash flow. I don't know. Okay, I think this is not part of it. It, it may be just besides. I'm overthinking. But here, wait, wait, wait. But here, will never be the. This is will will never be the black pink in your area. Okay. Or our tagline, okay. Bumbaya. Black pink area, okay. Well, what is this burger? Is this a burger? Crazy over you, one of the best B sides in my opinion, like in my music personal taste. Whistle, okay. Motorworks, body repair, auto, Queen Road City. What is this? 
I can't read it. BP. This this must be playing with fire, right? Do do do. Okay, Blackpink in your area. Kick the door. Can and the kicking the door. Ah, uh, right. What else do we have here? Yo, this uh. Why are they? My question now is why are they? Because this is a, like a similar concept for the Pink Venom. Well, not a similar concept, but with Pink Venom, they also had like multiple traces of the previous music videos. Like if you're really... Because this one, I think, is more direct, right? For the Pink Venom, the uh, references were more subtle. Like if you know, you know. That's it. But right now, this one's more straightforward, right? They're literally writing the lyrics of the songs, the title tracks in here, right? When the, when the bass drop, it's another banger. Definitely, definitely a Blackpink um, sound right there. Okay, what else do we have? Fresh, fresh, fresh fruits. Okay, smoothies. Ice, yeah, there we go. Ice cream. We'll love you. Uh, we will love you. Okay. Okay, Bob, how you like that? Hope not. Money. We have Lisa's money here. Soul. So so solo probably Jenny. There's there's an O here. The 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 lighting is just too bright, right? This is solo. Uh, as if it's your last. As if it's your last. Okay, okay. Yeah, we've got some references. Pretty savage. What is this blues? Okay, bet you wanna Cardi B. I probably missed some kick kick in the door. Yeah, I probably missed some because. Right? I, I didn't see Stay. We have Pink Venom right here. Right? I didn't see Stay. We have Gone. Rose Gone. Okay. In your area. Gen Radio TV. Bumbaya. Lalisa Premium. Okay. We have Lalisa. Sar Candy too. Bl hey yo. They included us in the music video. Those are Blinks, right? Yeah. Those are definitely Blinks. Okay. Keep watching me. Shut it down. Okay. Shut it down. Keep keep watching me shut it down, right? Keep. Now this seed right here of Rose reminds me way too much of her scene in Lovesick Girls, right? Or when she crashed the car, she was going reckless. She was crying. Right. So I don't know if this is more of like a character development on her end. Because right now she's like, you know, whatever guys, I'm out of here, right? You know, you know that vibe, the vibe that she's giving me with her, like, je jean jacket? Jenny right here. Now, this scene, or shot, or I think the way that she's made up, like, it reminds me of her duet scene with Lisa in... I don't know, it's not how you like that. Uh, probably doo do right? Or Kill This Love, when they had the Aya. That scene right there with Lisa, but Lisa's not here, but okay. She looks so good in this navy blue outfit, by the way. And the hair effect. The album Pink Venom, okay. And she's got the bling blings, the two chains. I love her haircut here. I mean, her styling, it's similar to the first shot of Pink Venom too. Like the way with this, with this hair. I don't know what, they, I call this the cockroach or the praying mantis one. Right? And here we have the Arctic Lisa. And there's a gunshot. Right? That, that's a gunshot right here. Keep watching me shut it down. Wow. We have the rails of the teasers of the car garage right here, but. Uh, I'm guessing, again, there's a lot of rumors that um, people are saying that there's a chance. I mean, I feel like there's also a chance that Blackpink will probably not renew their contract here. I mean, this this coming next year, right? Or they will renew. I think, again, we don't know because we're not there. We're not there. We don't know the behind the scenes. All of these are all just speculations on our end as fans, but no, I'm excited for this right here. Shut down MV teaser. I mean, shut down the song. It's two days away. Um, we don't know what will happen. We don't know. 
you know what from from here from this point onward i'm gonna transition to to this one right here right because the hype that i felt during pink venom release was now different i mean it kind of died down i'll be honest kind of died down when i saw this uh track list when this was released like thursday i think thursday last week right again i had work and so i didn't get to share my thoughts but now i am sharing my thoughts right so with this one right here uh i'll be honest here i would say that i am disappointed that we're only getting eight songs and it's not even eight eight new songs like technically it's just six new songs because we've already heard like ready for love and pink venom right so technically this week uh this friday we're gonna be getting like six new songs that shut down and then we have bam 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 so i was really expecting like around 10 to 12 songs because of that two-year hiatus and as a fan uh i am disappointed right i am disappointed not at the pinks not at black pink but more on yg and how like they manage these girls right and how they approach us fans us blinks right because let's just face it this is an industry like we are the customers of their music but right now i feel like yg is not listening to the customers to the feedback that we're getting that, that we're trying to relay to the company right i'm actually i'm not surprised that they released eight songs that that they included eight songs and in, in this upcoming album but i'm more disappointed because you know i wanted more now i'm not saying that all these eight tracks right here i mean six new tracks right here are gonna sound like shit of course not you know because all of the songs of blackpink is really up to my taste that's why i stand them in the first place right because i stand this group in the first place because of their music right their their behavior their attitude their looks there was just follow-ups like initially when i went into this fandom i stand them because of their music so i have no problems if it's like the same as formula over and over again because that's my music taste right that, that's that's the that's the shit that i like to hear right if it's not your forte if that is not your type of music then don't listen to what we're releasing don't listen to what blackpink is releasing it's just that simple right because i don't get the people who are hating on blackpink because right i get the point that they are releasing this blueprint repetitive kind of music again if you're not the market if you don't like the song then it's so easy to not listen to the song guys it's so easy to not listen to the song but it's so weird because some of you guys even though you don't like this song even if you don't like what they're releasing people will start writing essays thesis they're gonna start compiling videos they're gonna start editing videos explaining why blackpink sucks why their music sucks why this and that sucks why this guys I think you guys, those haters, those bash, I, I think you guys are putting way too much effort for something that you don't like, which is really odd, right? Come to think of it, which is really odd. If you don't like it, then close the song, right? Play that next button, right? Go to your favorite artist. It's just that simple, right? I enjoy Blackpink. I enjoy their kind of music. Again, I've been saying this in the previous videos and I will say it all over again. Blackpink is my kind of music. So I will be supporting them because I love their music. And now because I'm more like, I, I know them more. I watch more of their content. I bought a lot of shit for them, right? To pay their bills. I mean, you get the point. Right? So I'm now in this fandom because I like it. I'm enjoying it. I like their music, right? I love the girls. If I don't like it, then I will stop, right? But it's not that way. I like that, right? But for the other people, I don't get what's 
what's so hard to not listen to this music? What's so hard? I don't know if they're doing it for clout. Or, you know, deep inside, they really like Blackpink. Because they're putting so much effort to hate on Blackpink. Right? Again, now with the, with these like six songs right here, uh, one, I'm happy that there's no collab. Like even though I want to see them collab with I don't know, Ariana Grande, Taylor Swift, Drake, or whoever like us Blinks thought of the rumors. Like I'm happy because that means that each member has more opportunities to showcase their their vocal talent, their rap lines, their you know their skills, their talent in general, right? Because there's not there's no one who will sing this song aside from them. Right? I mean they they only have a few songs, guys. So I think as much as I respect the other artists, right? I feel like since this is their album, right? You know, just just give them. They, they only have a few songs, guys. We only have a few songs. Let's give them all the airtime that they that they deserve, right? But also, if you guys um saw when this was released, if you guys don't know Ryan Tedder and the, this girl's name, Beko Boom, they both released an IG story from their personal accounts, and I think that goes to show how YG somehow screens the process in terms of making an album right because becca boom right here was like her story back last week was holy shit i mean it's not holy shit <laughs> i mean right like she's so surprised that her song type of girl made it into the album on the contrary we have ryan tedder who's obviously not here who worked with uh rose and jenny when they flew to la um had a i forgot what what he storied was but it's more on like he's sad that or like it is what it is or like something with with the artists trying to fight for that spot or something i, I forgot that was last week i was tired guys but but that goes to show that with the way yg screens the entire album Specifically for the pinks, I don't know about the other groups. Specifically for the pinks, like it's very, I don't know, very strict, right? Very strict, and it comes to a point that the producers, the writers, don't even know when YG will include their music or not until the day that you know this track list has been released. Right, because Ryan Tender, guys, if you don't know, if you haven't seen the interviews, he was flexing. He was like really, really proud that he's been working with Blackpink. Like, he had three songs I think made for Blackpink. Uh, like worst case, he felt that he would get at least one song enter this album, but there's no songs from Ryan Tender. Right. As much as I let's let's appreciate that Jisoo and Rose here are part of the I can't read this. So it's probably the lyrics, right? They took part in creating the album. I think the pinks to wait to those people who are saying that, you know, when when this track list was released, like a lot of people were saying, like, look at this black bang. They can't even write their own music. They can't even, you know, produce their own song. Blah blah blah. I feel like they are they can do it but it's just not like being screened to yg's standards or to yg's plans that's why it's not getting pushed out to the public right because guys rose and jenny flew all the way to la to collab with ryan tedder and Ryan Tedder has been noisy in the so sock med, right? He's been like, you know, I'm so excited for this collab, blah, blah, blah. But we don't know, right? So most probably, these four girls, the Pinks, they write their songs for sure. Right? I have a huge feeling. They write their songs. But it's just not like being pushed out by YG, right? Again, with Rose and Bella Porch, right? There was a leak a few days ago that uh, Rose had a uh, collab 
remix with Be Bella Parts uh build a build a bitch right the, that song yeah and there are some pictures that Bella Parts and Rose Rose and Jenny also left the same hotel so we can like if we try to connect the dots like most likely they also had a collab but again YG did not push it out or something again we don't know these are just speculations theories based on the facts i mean not the facts based on our observations throughout the days but i don't think that's a that's a fake leak from the rose bella porch because bella porch on her twitter account personally quote tweeted it and said something in the lines of you know stan rose and her gun stream gun and underground as well so it goes to show Pinks are doing their part in writing their music. And I feel like YG is just limiting them. That's why I'm disappointed. YG is just limiting their talent for them to produce as artists. Right? Because right now, people are seeing the image of Blackpink more of like social media influencers, Instagram models, compared to uh, idols, musicians, right? And for me, like, like I get it, right? Because I initially started to stand them because of their music, right? I was hooked into this group because of their music. Like, I remember I remember that day, like, holy shit, this is K-pop, you know? Let me in. Count me in, you know? Because of their music, right? But again, uh, I don't know. I, again, I'm disappointed, but I will not stop supporting Blackpink. Like, I will support Blackpink till the day I die. That's a fact right there. Like, this one right here, one of my favorite photo cards of Jisoo, this one goes straight with me when I die. Like, I would bring this to my grave. Or, like, you know, whoever's still alive at that point will bring this. Hopefully, remind them, will bring this to my grave. Not ASAP, but, you know, when that time comes. Not soon, though. No, let's knock on wood. But... Yeah, I mean, we've got six songs, new six, new six songs right here. And I just really hope that they release more because I'm going to say it, YG, uh, Backpink is probably YG's cash cow right now. And I don't, this is the weird part, like YG doesn't really listen to the fans or they really just plan out everything like they can't change their plans or something right because if they're just yg is just using blackpink for the money i think the smartest move right now to earn a lot is for them to keep on producing music right because that's what fans love aside from their you know variety content and for from their endorsements it's mostly their music because they're idols right because they're idols but I don't get it, right? Because because two year hiatus, six new songs, I mean eight new songs technically. But right now, since we've heard the first, the first and last, see this is actually weird because they also released the last song, "The Ready for Love," and usually in an album, it has that flow, that story. There, it's not just like a random arrangement right here that Pink Venom is the first, Shutdown is the second type of girl. There's a reason why they are arranged that way. And at this point, they released the last song. So they gave us the ending and the beginning. Right? Which is kind of a, I don't know, spoiler maybe? But we'll, we'll never know again. We'll, you'll never know unless we walk in their shoes, as they say. But yeah, I mean, I still can't wait to hear these songs from them because it's Blackpink. It's their, I fell in love with their first songs initially. And that took me to, to stand this, to hard stand this group right here. Right? But again, I'm disappointed more on YG and not Blackpink, right? Because it's, it's, as, a, it's as if they're not listening to the feedback from, from their customers, from us fans, right? And I wouldn't think like, Unless, unless, we again, we don't know. Maybe this is what the Pinks wanted, right? Maybe this is what the Pinks wanted. They only just want eight songs or whatever. But again, I'm going to support the girls. But 
I will not just take everything in and just accept everything because that will turn me into like a blind fake fan, right? I'm gonna criticize them for with my with my thoughts and my feelings. I'm gonna share it here in this channel, but that will not change the fact that I will support these girls till the day I die, right? Again, I'm excited for the comeback. But, you know, I would really hope that you've got more songs. Because at this point, based on the track record of how YG handles things, after this comeback, who knows? One, we have the contract extension. Is that a yes or a no? Two, if they sign their contract renewal, when is the next time that they will be releasing new music again? Two years from now, we don't know. I think at this point, YG is just, they know that Blackpink is their cash cow, but they don't know how to handle it well. Or maybe it's like they're trying to stretch everything out to prolong the stay of the pinks in the company, right? But again, bottom line here, I'm going to be supporting the pinks till the day I die, right? Let me know, guys, in the comment section your thoughts regarding this whole thing but you know we have shut down this friday new song i'm excited as always because new song guys new song from blackpink that's like once in a blue moon right now but anyway i'll see you guys in the next one peace